your principal, Jackie Bryant. And I have two guest presenters today, but we thought it would be nice to introduce ourselves and say what musical instrument we're interested in lately. And I am very much interested in the piano, especially on my app that gives me like stars. Every three notes I play correctly. I'm passing it to you, Addie. Oh, so I like piano as well, but I also like ukulele. And um, who are you? Oh, I'm Adeline. And what grade what grade are you? I'm in seventh grade. Oh yeah. And passing it to Mix V. I, much like Eddie, do enjoy a good ukulele. Back to you, Jackie. Okay. So here's what's happening this week looking ahead. Um Monday holiday again. I love these Monday holidays, but look, this is like our final one. So live it up on the Monday holiday. Um, and then we only have two weeks left of February. I really feel like this year is rolling by way too fast. On the 22nd, advisory is back. Tutoring begins and we have a student info night event that week. More about that later. Um, and then you can see a couple things that are coming up in March, including another minimum day, a faculty academy day on the Tuesday things to look forward to um to you Addie. so literature club was tuesdays uh, originally but now it's thursdays and just it's all the right Do, are you leaks. are you in any clubs i am i'm in debate oh fun what have you guys processed recently uh well the one that we're doing is an american actually a country um, and we're just debating like a bunch of stuff. I remember the first time I went to DB, it was like, um, is the like, it, like is clothes like, like what we wore to school? Is that fair or is oh, it just nice? Nice. And it is it okay for people to join debate even if they haven't been there before? Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people that joined. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. So applications for next school year are due by March 12th. And I am giving out, it's the school's money actually, we're giving out stickers to people who get their name on other people's applications. Uh, Brandon Cervantes, did you know that your neighbor turned in an application, which means you got a sticker prize coming to you? We'll figure that out in a little bit, but you can apply on the website. If you guys have siblings, make sure they apply. They don't just get in. We have to know they exist in order for them to get in. And to mix me. Awesome. So we are starting a peer tutoring program. Um, and it will be starting not this Monday, because it's a minimum day, but the Monday following that day. And we have some wonderful peer tutors. So if you have been, uh, you know, invited to be tutored by some of our wonderful peer tutoring, um, we, we should be giving you guys a notification sometime next week. So look out for that. That's so awesome. So you're running, you're the teacher leader that's running the tutoring program, and you're really working with two groups of students. Like one is student leaders, peer tutors who are just going to be there to support other students, plus other adults who are helping. Okay. And then a whole bunch of sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade students were inviting for tutoring. Um, yeah. Addie is a peer tutor. Addie, what questions do you have for Mix V? Um, I have a question. Uh, how many tutors are there compared Ooh. to the kids? Good. Nice. All right. So students being tutored or the peer tutors? Yeah. So um, both, like the ratio. Yeah. How many peer tutors do we have? Yeah. About 17, I think. So. And that means, so what we've thought is that we should have no more than groups of five. So we'll have five sets of students and either a peer tutor or an adult tutor. Everyone's going to come to the group, figure, um, do like an intro, welcome, hello, and then go into breakout groups to work on their assignments um, yep. in, in small groups. So it's not like one-on-one, -on -one, but it's small group tutoring with a tutor or a peer tutor. Any other questions, Addie? Um, oh. Can you see me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sorry, my headphones were charging. Um, how many people are getting tutored? That's Ooh. a good question. It's still to be determined because we are reaching out to students that we uh, think might be a good fit for tutoring. So we will see next week on how many of those students uh, want to, you know, 
use yeah. this program. So, And I think we have the capacity for, so we have an hour for sixth graders and we have so many sixth grade peer tutors and adult tutors. I think we have like 45 students we can bring into that hour. And then seventh and eighth, I think we have like 35 students we can bring in based on the other support that we have. So it's going to be so nice just to be around those students and have some socializing on a Monday when you otherwise are on your own. Yeah. Um, thanks for being a peer tutor, Addie. Speaking of student leaders, we have IVA leader leaders who are the students who help me lead our student leaders. And that is Juliet McKenzie, Isabella Catalan, um, Ella Dodgen, and oh, I think I spelled Ella's wrong na name wrong. Sorry, Ella. Um, Addie knows what that's like because her name's been wrong for weeks. But uh, student leader apps are open for one week. You don't have have to have any prior experience and these are the students that welcome kids into our school um, we have a training that's coming up and the event um, so one week to apply and then like really quick you find out if you got in and you do training and then you do the event and Addie you've been both a student leader and you've benefited by coming to events um, where student leaders <coughs> were leading what was it like for you to come um, well the first time I came was like in sixth grade I didn't really understand what was going on but now like as like a student or like when I was a student leader I understand more I thought it was honestly a lot of fun like you got to talk to like people that you usually don't talk to and you get to uh, talk to like random people that you don't even know but it's like still a lot of fun and then the student leader leaders are like very very sweet and um they're very nice and just very understanding with stuff yeah, and our leader leaders this year already have really fun ideas about how to make that um, that online event feel interactive and playful to welcome in new students. So we, we know that actually students do the best job creating culture at our school. Um, and this is one of the very first ways that students who are coming in get to feel what it's like to be students at IVA. Um, and then, Addie, one last question. If you could sort of describe the student culture, like how would you say, what is IVA's culture, student culture? Um, I feel like, I don't know, it's just very, like, fun and, like, mature type of things. I don't know. Like, yeah. being this, when I was a student leader, I just felt like I was, like, a teacher. So. Yeah, yeah, um, it's super it fun like, to be a student leader. And yeah, and V, just to add, like, what can you describe the student culture at our school? You've seen comparisons at other schools. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm definitely. Uh, I think our students are deep thinkers, and it really shows through. And um, I think the courage really, really shines through, especially in the Zoom setting. I mean, it's it's pretty amazing to see these students come out of their shell and turn those cameras on and really share their voice and get out there in that space. So. Thank you. And finally, the same pictures for three weeks in a row, because this is Addie. Um, and that's how you spell her name. And Addie's cute. And we wanted to send you into your weekend with a metaphorical um, weather forecast that we hope for you. So V, kick it off. So I'm hoping that your three-day weekend is just full of sunshine and sun rays. And that will bring you some warmth. Addie? Um, I hope that your your week week is full of rain because rain is happy to me. That's right. Whatever your weather pattern that makes you happy, I think that's what, you're, what we're hoping for you. And I hope you guys have frigid, cloudy skies that make you want to cuddle up metaphorically with your blankets or your friends or your family and watch metaphorical movies. I don't know what that means, but we hope you guys have a really wonderful weekend and we can't wait to see you again next Tuesday. From all of us to all of you, have a good weekend and goodbye. Bye. Bye.